What is up y'all, it's the Eric V, your stream teach here. And I think a green screen can be one of the most powerful tools in a content creator's arsenal. I use mine in particular when I don't have anything interesting to show behind me and also because I don't want to block anything that I'm gaming other than, you know, with my body and whatever alerts that may pop up at the time. So with this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your own screen, especially when you have skin as dark as mine, it can be a challenge, but we're going to make that a little bit less of a challenge today. And as far as my bedroom, it's false. No way. I'm not in not it. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. Class is totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale. It's a total fabrication. I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. Now, before we get into the actual filter and how to set it up, I do want to mention that a green screen is very dependent upon the lighting that you have. This is what my current lighting looks like. It's one light source. Typically, if you want the perfect green screen, if you want it even better than I have, which is pretty good if you ask me, you want a light to light your image, which is yourself in this case, and you also want to light the screen itself because you don't want shadows on it. Mine does have a shadow on it. You will notice that, but again, you'll see that once the screen is all set up, you don't really see the shadows, especially when you shrink it down to a fourth of the total image that you're doing because I'll be shoved in a corner. With that being said, also keep in mind, if you're using a green screen, don't wear green. Best Zelda, don't at me. Seems pretty obvious, maybe some people don't know. If you're using a blue screen, don't wear blue. Now that we got the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna get myself out of the way to about right here. Normally my image is about this big when I do green screen. However, we're going to be doing it a little bit smaller and keep in mind your green screen, while it should be good, I wouldn't obsess over it too much, especially again, if you're shoving yourself in a corner. So we're going to right click on our camera, which is in my case, the Sony a5100. I am going to click on filters. And from the filters, I'm clicking the plus sign. By the way, this works the exact same way in OBS as it does in Streamlabs OBS. And I'm going to select the filter type and make that the chroma key. After I've selected that, we're clicking done. And as you can see, we got a green screen effect, a kind of preset thing that popped up here. So it's automatically set to green. That happens to be the color I'm using. However, what I'm going to do is select custom instead of green and what that allows us to do is it allows us to select the exact color of green that my lighting and my camera and my environment is producing because the numbers will vary and your green will vary dependent upon again things like your lighting your camera your environment so what i'm going to do here is turn off the chroma key effect and then i'm going to click on our eyedropper tool and then I'm going to click on the color that's most prominent on the screen. Of course, we have a shadow right about here, so I'm not going to click on that. And around the outer edges, we have a bit of a shadow as well. But normally my camera's more zoomed in, so that is irrelevant. So what I'll do is click on that green right there. And then I'm going to unblind the chroma key. And you see that I've turned invisible. So what we'll do is we'll lower the similarity since the similarity is much closer. It seems for me that 50 is about the number for me. Now, you might notice I don't look all that great. I'm still looking a little ghostly over here. So what I'm going to do is make sure the smoothness is also at about 50. And again, this is specifically for me. So your mileage may vary. And once I make myself bigger, we will transform, fit to screen. That's a quick way to make yourself bigger if you want to. And I can still see that my hair is not quite looking solid. So we still got a little bit of tweaking to do. And the similarity and the smoothness, we will down the smoothness. Looks like 37 or maybe even 40 could be a good number for me. But honestly, 37 is looking good. And that's all you have to do. So what you need to do is make sure you raise your arms. You want to make sure your armpits <laughs> don't have green 
lines emanating from them because that's happened to me you want to make sure that your forehead looks good your hair you want to make sure that you don't have an outline so you want to make your smoothness high but not too high and my orange cat he's not looking too bad either so it's pretty simple um to explain the other things the key color spill reduction is if there's too much color there's too much saturation you can desaturate the image a little bit i normally don't touch that if you have your other settings correct that should not be an issue so before we go we're going to add one more filter and that is the color correction filter sometimes when you add your green screen if you have to adjust any color spill reduction or if you have to decrease anything to compensate for not so great lighting you want to make sure that the color the color of you the subject is correct in order to make sure that, that color correction filter is only applied to the subject that being you and not that i'm pointing at myself saying you anyway that being you and not your entire game scene or whatever you're viewing or interacting with you want to make sure that that color corrector filter is below the chroma key now with that and i'm not going to touch much of it but you can change your opacity for instance if you want it to become ghastly again you could do that Woo! and you could change the hue shift you could change the saturation again to add color back into the subject that being you that is very important i've seen it neglected a few too many times but a clean green screen goes a long way but yeah that's basically it if it helped you out feel free to subscribe on youtube maybe like the video maybe share the video to a streamer you know that might need it ever so politely of course and if you have any more questions of course you can leave a comment you can join the discord or you can come to my twitch stream every monday wednesday friday or saturday and just ask i don't mind i got time class dismissed I missed all, so many of those shots. Oh, word. You got the gold shit. Word. 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 Word.